The community of Newtown is coming together now to help each other cope with yesterday's tragedy. The neighbors and friends with this tight-knit community are lending a helping hand to their neighbors any way they can. Tina Detell has a report. Signs of support. A community comes together after a gunman destroys so many lives. It's hate. It's brutal. You know, you want to think you're living in a happy, nice little town and, and something like this pops up. The tragedy has brought throngs of media to this quiet, close-knit town. Strangers from across the nation and across the globe. Among all these news crews, an unexpected familiar face for me, an old friend. Turns out she's a special education teacher here in town and was being interviewed. And yes, it would have been nice to catch up under much different circumstances. Her sadness, like so many others here in town. A teacher herself, Colleen Bryant, knew staff and students lost to the senseless gunfire. And I think when we start hearing some of the children's names that we recognize, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be upsetting. Already she knows some who have been lost and some who have survived this nightmare. She and other teachers using social media to connect and comfort each other. And we just kept saying, like, you know, simple words like uh, heartbroken and, and, you know, devastated and uh, horrible and just so, so sad. Many wondering what they can do to help. This woman runs a cat rescue. If, they, if it would help, come and visit our little kittens, bring your little kids, pet the kittens, feel a little bit better, feel a little bit safer. You know, it's just something. We got to do something. Knowing how much this community cares may give some comfort to those who need it most. In Newtown, Tina Detell, News 8.